Don't go to a mechanic. Just watch YouTube videos. Be a man. <laughs>
tackle that project, which is actually pretty easy on this truck. It's not that bad. You remove like the coolant um, winch washer tank and then the overflow coolant tank and then like the fl fan shroud stuff. And then there's like a couple bolts that hold it in. Of course, got to like drain everything. So that I'm sure I'll make a mess when I do that as always. And then um, from there, you should be able to pull it out and then remove the rubber grommets on everything and then slap the new one in and fill it up. So <clears throat> yep, I'll show you guys what I purchased today. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay Let's get tuned. right to it. You're loud, dude. Hey, like you've been doing something. Hey, we brought the, brought the C10 down to transport the parts from the garage up there. All uh, right, so I just actually happened to find one, but you'll need a one and one eighth socket and obviously driver to match. And your fuel filter is located right there or this be careful because you got the battery here i will probably make sparks at some point so right here all right so you need to loosen that up and then uh, we'll go through the rest of the steps but first is i've let everything cool down i'm going to loosen that up and then i'm going to pull the filler filter element up slowly and letting it just drain out a little bit at a time <clears throat> and i've got my new fuel filter which it was came with the new gasket to go around there. So that top is uh, plastic and probably could have been designed a little better or something a little more rigid, you know, but plastic is where they went to save some money, I guess. So you have to be real careful when removing it and putting it back on so you don't cross or it, crack it or break it in any way. So first I'll get that off. And then, like I said, I'm gonna slowly kind of pull it up and I've got a bucket here to kind of catch everything but hopefully I let the filter element dry enough, maybe like 20 minutes or so, and then I'll transfer and throw it in that bucket and then I'll see what the fluid looks like down in the, down in the reservoir there. All right, I've got the filter element up. I did splash a little bit because I accidentally, when I was getting a hold of it, dropped it back down in there. So there is fluid down in there, as you can see. And I'm just kind of got it propped up like this and letting it just, let that filter element drain out and then I'll remove it. But it looks horrible from here. So this will probably help our performance and drivability and everything else. And if that fluid looks real bad, like I'm, I'm gonna shine a light down in there, but like I'm contemplating, oh, I'll go ahead and suck all that fluid out of there um, just to get it out of there, get that dirty, dirty fuel going. And then uh, we'll go on to our next step. So I'll keep you all posted. All right, so I got it all cleaned up and I put the new gasket on there. So just run your finger along it, push it down. Keep your push down, just make sure that it's up above all the uh, threads there so it won't get in the way. And then you'll be good from there. Let's see if I got my flashlight on me. Let's take a look at this fluid in here. And yeah, it, well, you know what? It looks actually pretty clean. As y'all can see, that filter looks a little rough. So, um, and it just pops in and out of there, right? So just so you can see, it just kind of pop presses in there. And then this end where the hole is, is where the shaft goes in to the filter. So it's a repeat of it. But next thing you'll want to do is take this gasket off of here too and replace it with your new one and just make sure that it's pressed on there all the way up above all the, the ridges and everything. So. We'll go ahead and do that next and then we'll put the new fuel filter in there well i'll, I'll go ahead and drain probably gonna drain that fluid because it looks like it's probably pretty rough looking and then wipe all this stuff down and clean it up and then i'll show you all the steps as far as priming it because you want to fill that fuel bowl back up before because otherwise it'll run all that fuel that's in the line and then it'll and then it'll stall out, it'll die on you because there's gonna be air in the line. So you gotta prime that pump to fuel, fill that uh, fuel bowl back up. All right, hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna show you, go ahead. So this, where the hole is, it's gonna go on top of that shaft that I showed you earlier, but as far as it is, you're just gonna put the other end with the shallow hole back on there. And then you just pop it in like so. And it'll, it'll spin freely and that's fine. And now that's in there, so now I can Go to my next step, which is draining, draining the old fluid out and getting the sediments out of those. Things. 
Uh, just so y'all know, I went with the Duralast filter. This is a Duralast part number FF758DL. Um, like I said, it came with the uh, new O-Rooting gasket, so that was helpful. And uh, should be smooth sailing from here once I drain that fluid and clean everything up, and then I'll be able to uh, button everything back up and start priming it, and I'll show you all that. All right, well, the fuel looked good, and I thought I saw sediments, but they're not sediments down there. So um, I drained some of the fluid out, um, but I'm not going to drain the whole thing. That, and it's way deeper than I thought it was going to be. So next step, and it's kind of a pain because you got to get underneath here or kind of maneuver around some of this stuff, but I'm going to set it in real slowly, and I'm trying to do this one-handed and just let it come in a little bit at a time because then it's going to soak up some of that fuel which will keep it from spilling out so just do a little bit at a time and then try to set it in there square and then it should you want to thread it on real real slowly and just make sure it's not cross threaded it feels no, that's right but this is where you can be where you can cross thread it and crack it and cause yourself some problems and then it feels like yeah it feels like it's on there good so i'll just tighten it up by hand i'm sure there's some torque specs for it i'm going to tighten it up just a little bit and then obviously if i got some leaking then i'll i'll tighten it up a little more but i don't want to over tighten it so it seems like it's going on there pretty well Sorry, wobbling you guys around a lot. I'm trying to move around here. Get this tightened up here. And it's very, between everything you've got in here, is very little clearance, so. so. Of course, try not to make contact with the battery. And I'm loosening it. Yeah, there we go. it seems to be going on nice and smooth so that's good no problems there I'll get it now i think i got everything tightened up so what i'm going to do is you'll hear the the pump the pump prime you might hear it wrong keys and then what you're going to do is just kind of bump it a little bit not start it up but just bump it a little bit Yeah, and I can hear it kick, kick on. Take it, make sure it's out of gear. It's a manual. And you can hear that fuel pump. So you can hear that fuel pump there running. What I'm gonna do is do that about four times to fill that fuel bowl back up. Four or five times. And then crank it up and then check for any leaks. And then that's pretty much the end of that project. If it's leaking a little bit, I'll just tighten up a little more and we should be good to go. You can, you can hear it. This is my third time running through the uh, sequence. Like I said, I'll do it probably about five times since I drained some fluid out of there. Um, but and that you'll hear that pump will run for about 30 seconds so let it run through then turn the key there it just went off turn the key back off the off position take it out put it back in the manual guys push the clutch in and then just bump it all right i'm gonna step over here so y'all can hear me but i'm gonna Go and check it for leaks now and let it see if it idles for a little bit. So we'll see if that uh leaking up there.
is that rap set project uh, probably total at time like even including like priming it and doing all that it was probably like 20 minutes so really easy project but will go a long way um, for gas mileage and just longevity of your truck so that truck has like 387,000 miles so it's uh, going strong so next I'll be doing the uh, oil change and fuel filter or oil filter sorry um, I'm gonna let it idle for a little bit and then I'll let it cool down and then I'll go through uh, doing the oil filter and all that good stuff so um, it's running good hadn't stalled out yet it's been running for I don't know five minutes or so probably um, yeah so thanks for joining us uh, stay tuned for the next videos we'll get to uh, do some stuff on the Mustang, then we'll get to working on the uh, C10 back there, and uh, and then I might have another project in store too. So, uh, I'll let you guys later. Peace.